Hello everybody and welcome to Waking. Uh, for those of you who are new, I'm Katmandu and in this episode we, yeah, we're going to try out this new game. Uh, it's only been out for a couple of weeks and um, yeah, I want to start off by giving um, Tiny Build a massive shout out for um, letting me have a key and trying out this game. Um, so yeah, it come out sort of, I think it was the 18th of June it got released. And um, yeah, the game looks really, really interesting. It's really, really unique concept to a game. Um, I think basically, as you can see in the middle of the screen there, I think basically you, the guy who you play or the person who you play is in a coma and um, the game plays out sort of in the mind of the person, so in their dream and then their memory. Um, so it's sort of like you're basically playing what's in his mind while he's in a coma sort of thing. Uh, obviously, you, I guess you'll sort of, it's hard, sort of hard to explain, but I guess when we play the game you'll sort of maybe get a little bit more of an idea of what the game's about. Um, but yeah, the, the, the concept of the game is really, really unique. I want to give the massive shout out to the developer as well. I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but it's just one developer that has made this game. So yeah, I, I've got to tip my hat to that because obviously it's hard enough as it is to create a game, but to create a game by one person is yeah quite incredible. So yeah, massive shout out to you, uh, the developer. Massive shout out to Tiny Build for giving me a key as well. Uh, really do appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope I enjoy it. Um, yeah, if you guys do enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like button. Uh, if you do like it as well, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Both the likes and subscribes really do help me out massively. So if you could show your support, man, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you guys want to get in touch with me as well, in the description down below should be all my contact details, which you can go and check out as well. Also as well, if you want to get this game... Um, well, it, I think I'll have to double check. I think it's discounted at the minute. But if you guys are interested in this game, uh, if you want to click on the link down below in the description, uh, it helps my channel out as well. So yeah, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys are interested in this game. Check the link down in the description for uh, this game. And um, yeah, you, you'll be helping the channel out as well, which, um, I, which I'd really appreciate as well. Right, I think I just need to have a little drink there. <coughs> Bit of a sharp throat. Um, right, so I think as well, this game's quite, well, let me just say, this game's a little bit strange in terms of it's on PC, but it's recommended that you play with a controller, and it doesn't really support keyboard and mouse, even though it's on PC. So, yeah, if you guys are interested in it, obviously you need to get a, a controller, whether it be an Xbox or PlayStation. <coughs> right, and I think without further ado, I think I'm just going to crack on, man. So let's go, new game. And let's see what this game has to offer, man. Yeah, this game looks really, really unique. Really, really unique. I'm really sort of, um, I'm excited to see what this game has to offer, to be honest. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't wait. It's, um, concept of the game is incredible. So let's have a look. <clears throat> Patient info. Waking is a very personal experience where you play a character based on yourself. Wow, really? Waking will ask you questions about your life, your friends and your loved ones in order to build out your character. Remember that it is entirely up to you to decide what you share and what not to share. Waking will only store this information in the save file and it will never be used in any way or form other than inside the game for your character. Waking explores sensitive personal themes and allows you to dive into your memories, feelings and emotions. If you have a history of depression, anxiety or self-harm, this game may not be suitable for you. Please make this decision based on your understanding of your mental health. Wow. So, as you can see there guys, straight off the bat, that's a massive, massive disclaimer. Like I said, this game's heavily, heavily psychological... I guess you could call it psychological slash psychological horror. So obviously, as you can see there, that is a massive disclaimer. So if you guys have ever suffered with depression or anxiety or self-harm or anything like that, please don't try this game. It's just not worth it. Uh, but I'm going to continue on. So, yeah, let's just right, press up on the D-pad. Uh, I'm playing with a PlayStation controller, so we'll go there. Uh, you play Waken as yourself. Enter your real first name. Uh, really? You know what? I'm going to do it. I don't know if you guys know my real last, uh, my real first name or not, but you will now. That is it. There you go. Enter.
male or female. Believe it or not, guys, I'm actually a male. Believe it or not. Height. I'm only small. I'm a little smally. About 5'6". Um, I'd say I'm normal slat. I'm sort of in the middle. What's husky? Is that like... Like, sort of stocky? Like, built? I'm sort of a bit... Uh, I wouldn't say I'm... I wouldn't say I'm big, but I wouldn't say I'm normal, but I'm going to go normal. Builds. Oh, difficulty. You can change this later. Souls difficulty. Build. Builds to very difficult. Challenging but rewarding. Recommended builds to a tolerable difficulty. Medium, easy, very easy. Uh, I'm going to go for that one. Uh, are you a content creator making a YouTube video or stream? Uh, yes. Thank you. Right. Go man, what is what is this game? Dreaming. Right, okay. Yeah, so like I said, like as you seen there guys, straight off the bat. Very, very strange. Asking you questions about like your height and your real name and stuff, like Yeah, it sort of plays so it's very sort of personal in a way. It's a very personal game to you. Oh, hello. Is this the dying mind dreams why do I feel like I'm getting goose pimples a little bit this is strange one last time wow why do I already feel sad <laughs> what is this game man come on nah. oh, so I'm guessing that's a health bar along the bottom Hey, look at this, man. Wow, that was bright. You're trying to blind me straight off the bat. Wow, so we have no face. That's cool. Look, a massive hole. What? Wow, this looks beautiful, man. I just controls. Uh, I don't think I need to. Controls feel okay. Oh, let's jump. They're a little bit janky, but they're not... I wouldn't say... Just sort of trying to button press a little bit just to try and get my bearings for the game. Right, okay, so that sort of crouches, okay. Is there anything that I can press? Ah, okay, so the big middle button. So we've got life, neurons, hope, and fear. Wow, man. Extra damage bonus. You've got level ups as well. Melee's empty slot. Abilities, items, frag. What's that? Abilities and items, loved ones, fragments, memories, relics, power attacks, prayers. Wow, man, what is going on? Right, okay, I think I'm going to go down here. I don't know where I'm going, like, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Just following a path. Look like massive like buildings and stuff, man. What the hell? Yeah, the controls are a little janky. Obviously, I can't run. I can either just crouch or this is my run. What is this? You ask me? Can you feel the life in your slipping away? Can you feel the ever-fading beat of your heart? Make peace with the life you have lived. And go into that light. Okay, what light? Right, it's looking over there naturally. Okay, I don't mind going into the light. Ooh! Oh, that's handy. So if you double tap X, it does like a funky jump. Oh, 
Wow, man, this game is really nice. Big old jump. Oh, maybe I should be on here. Hold to lift. Oh, I'm using my mind like telekinesis. Do I go into that? Enter. Wait, what? Okay, jump out. What the hell was that? <clears throat> okay, I'm just keep trying to pick up the table. I'm trying. I'm pressing square, but it's not doing nothing. Use table to block attacks. Okay. Throw table. Ah, so we have like telekinetic energy or something. What the hell can I? I can't read that book now. Right, okay, do I jump down here then? Nice roll, bro. Nice. Oracle of Desire. That's a big face. It's a big baby face. Can I like turn these candles on or something? I don't know if there's any combat in this game, but I hope there isn't because the controls are quite janky. Ooh. Circumstances of your life filled you with a particular set of desires. And these desires coloured your dreams and guided you in your decisions. What, besides love, of course, did your soul chase? What were the great desires of your life? Great desires of your life. Select two. From where? What? What the hell? <laughs> no way. Um, okay, let's have a look. Um, wow, this is quite cool, man. Um, okay, um... What were the great desires of your life? Um, well, to be fair, I'm going to look at this one straight away. I am a bit of a perfectionist, so I do like to be perfect, or at least I like to try and strive for perfection. So I'm going to say perfectionism. So i got to choose one more, though. See, this is a tough one, man. Attention, belonging. Attention, beauty, belonging, money, safety, freedom, adventure, understanding, duty, knowledge, fun, peace, helping, creativity, justice, enlightenment, influence, respect. Uh. I'm gonna say respect. I think respect's a good one for me. I feel like uh, I think everyone should respect each other's views and opinions and everything like that. And I think, but understanding as well. Wow, this is tough, man. I'd say more than just two. I think it's just a. I think an understanding of people as well is really important. See, everyone's different. You've got to understand their differences and accept them for who they are and that. Hmm. I'm going to go understanding. I think that's a good one. I do like to try and understand people. What are you, what are you saying now, babyface? Is that enough? 
Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let go. What the hell is that? Oh, that's me in the bed, I guess. How you have struggled chasing your desires. Uh, nah, not really. Feel them there in your tired heart. You've got candles on your antlers. Always seeming as if they were just out of reach. No. Perfectionism. Understanding. In death may you be free of all desire. I don't want to be free of understanding. Hmm. Wow, that's bright, man. Ow, wow, wow, wow. Stop. Is that the tr Ooh, is that like the tree of life? Oh, big brain. Is that the tree of life? And have I just lived the life of the tree? Right, it looks like we can only go this way, so... Let's continue on. Is this like... I guess sort of like crossing over. We like, like I said, we're sort of in the grasp, like the grasp, the grasp of death. So is this sort of like, I guess, sort of crossing over, isn't it, into the afterlife, maybe? What's this? I've got to go in it again. Bam. And bam. Well, why does this look a little bit more daunting, like it, like I'm going down to hell? Oh, I ain't done nothing wrong. Is that like a little mini-map, bottom right? I've literally only just noticed that. Can't... Can't high jump here. Oh. Can I, like... Roll or something? Why does this look like... Oh, okay. Can we get... Can I... Can I get some loot? Can I loot up? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Pick up a piece of clutter. Okay. Uh, telekinesis. Hold L1 to aim. Tap to switch between targets. Press... What's that? Square to shoot object. So L1. Hold L1 to aim. I don't get it. What do I want to aim? I'm pressing square. Gotta go right up to it. Oh, I've got, I'm shooting at them, uh, the, the things, the lights. Bam. Right, I get it now. So aim up there. Okay. Whoa. Let's get the hell out of me. Hold square, hold square, charge the held item. Charging items drastically increase damage and stun. Ah, oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah, how long do I hold it for though? Well, that didn't work. That just flopped off. You gotta hold it for the right amount of time. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Okay, I'll get ya. That, that didn't work. Can I get can I get some more clutter please? Ah, oh, barrels will come back, that's nice. Okay, so it's basically like a power shot, isn't it, I guess? Ah, uh, you gotta do it just at the right time, though. You hold it a second longer, it, like, flops off. Can get over again? Why do I feel like we're about to fight something? Because it's sort of telling me ways to fight things. Oh. Someone's like firing things at me. Mate, come on now. Why is it not working? What? Oh, hold square to charge the item. Charging items drastically increase the damage and stun. That's what I'm trying to do. Want to fire things at me though? Well, if you do it just a slight second too long, it doesn't work. Or does it? I don't know. Let's come back and get this barrel. So we have the power of telekinesis. Interesting. Hmm. I will get this down, this hold the square thing, because it worked a minute ago, now it's not. Ow. Take my life. Take my life. No, that didn't work. Ow. Just, oh, every time it hits me, it's raising my fear. That didn't work. Why is it? Um, yeah, so I just dropped off and died. Whoops. Whoopsie. I don't get... Oh, it's really strange with the power up. If you let it go too early, it does no damage. No. <laughs> this game's weird, man. Controls are very jank. Why does it do that? Oh, why does it just keep... I don't understand. I had the barrel! I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Don't fall off, don't fall off. Just don't understand it. <laughs> Maybe I'm not charging it up enough? Shoot charger, hold L1, press square to shoot item. 
think I was letting go of L1, I think. When I was pressing square, I think I was letting go of L1. Ah, so it was just flopping off because it wasn't actually... Wasn't actually aiming at it. Right, okay. What the hell is that? Wait, what the hell is that? That sort of looks alive, I ain't gonna lie. You are huge, yes. Are we friends though? How dark you are. I ain't dark, bro. Beneath what you present to the world. Nah, I'm good, mate. I am bright. I have seen it. You ain't seen nothing, bro. You ain't my friend. Very deep within your psyche. Nope. You don't know me. You ain't trying to manipulate me, boy. That ever-flowing reservoir of pain. Nah, I'm pretty chill. Yeah, so what? Do you want to go? You want to fight? Do you want to go, bro? Because I can telekinesis stuff, you know? You are huge, bro. I'm off. You're just talking whack, son. You don't know me. Oh, we got to choose some more things, I guess. That's baby face again. Baby rock. Baby rock face. Look to the darker corners of your soul. Where sorrow and pain reside. And feel the war within. What chains did you wear? I ain't chained up, son. What barbs en ensnared you? What were the great struggles of your life? Oh, I don't know. Um, hmm. Okay. I can't be quite lazy. I wouldn't say I'm greedy. Weight's not a problem. Disease hasn't been a problem. Jealousy, no. Uh, mental illness, no. Insecurity, possibly. Trauma, anger, meh. I've had issues with anger in the past. Addiction, no. Poverty, no. Sorrow, no. Dishonesty, no. Ego, no. Self-hatred, hate yourself, no. Loneliness, no. Grief, no. Oppression, no. Selfishness, no. Indecision. Oh, well, I'm, I'm indecisive now, to be honest. This, you're throwing me a lot of options here. I'm very undecided, so maybe indecision? <laughs> um, I'm going to go this one, because I have had this before. That's a good one to go for, and possibly anger. I have had... I have had issues with anger before. That was for a different sort of situation though, but I'm going to go for that one. I think they're two good ones, obviously. I can't really choose out of the other ones, really. Could have probably gone for some in... I don't know. Indecision. I feel very undecisive at the minute. So, that's how I'd have felt now. Alright, okay. Antler man again. What a struggle life is. Not really. Life's quite good, to be fair. Yes. Feel the pain, the conflict, and the broken-hearted exhaustion. Mate, this game is quite depressive, I'll give them that. And let it drain from your being. Okay. Something. 
What is that language, by the way? Does anyone know? In death, may you be free of your pain. If anyone knows what language they're speaking, can you put it in the comments down below? I don't know if it's like Nordic or something like that. Like the Norsk. It sort of sounds a bit like that, I guess, but I don't actually know. If you guys can leave it in the comments down below, man, I'd be greatly appreciated. Jesus, that is bright again. Oh, we're back at the tree of life again. Down to 47 health as well. I lost a bit of health there because I was being an idiot. I'm doing my double jump now. Can I jump up on tree? Can I jump up on branch? No? Right, fine. Right, guys. So, yes, unfortunately, I've run out of time. So, I'm going to have to leave this here. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, yeah, it was this is really, really strange. Really strange game, but really unique. Uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. To be fair, just because of the whole uniqueness of it, it's very, it's a very depressing type of game. To be honest with you, I can see why they sort of put the disclaimer at the start about people who have suffered with sort of depression and stuff. Because, yeah, it can be quite. It seems very morbid and quite depressing. Um, but I'm just loving the concept at the minute. Just the whole, the graphics are really nice. The game runs quite smoothly, although the, obviously the movement of the guy is quite jank. But it's not too bad. Is a little bit weird though. I just hope we don't have to battle anyone. Cause can I do a backflip? Ooh. And a front. Okay, sweet. Yeah, so the game's a little bit wonky, but overall I am enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. If you are, don't forget to smash that like button. Uh, if you are liking it, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, both the likes and subscribes really do help me out massively. So if you could show your support, man, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to get in touch with me, in the description down below is all my contact details. So you can go and check all that out. Uh, also as well you can comment on the videos because I do check all the comments so it's another good way to interact with me uh, also as well if you guys want to be in with a chance of winning a giveaway at 500 subs and don't forget to be subscribed as well and uh, yeah until the next time guys have a good one stay safe out there peace out